This is a PS Connect member profile page, and this is what your page will look like once you've got it completed. You'll see a lot of information here about Bill as a member that he has put into his profile, the most prominent of which, obviously, is his picture. Now, you'll want to upload a picture as soon as you get into the system, obviously, and in order to do that, you'll click on the Edit Picture link right under the photograph. Now, you can upload a picture of yourself, or you can upload some other type of picture. Some members of PS Connect have uploaded their agency logo, industry-related cartoons. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be a picture of yourself. And the one thing you should use caution of, this is a professional networking and online collaboration platform, so please make sure that whatever picture or graphic you use as your profile picture suitable for the work environment and appropriate for this online professional platform. You also see a bio section on your profile page and you'll want to populate this with information as well. It doesn't have to be detailed, it doesn't have to be lengthy, it should not be your resume line for line. You should just give a quick blurb about who you are, where you work, what you do, how you got there, and any milestones or accomplishments you've achieved along the way. Just the information that you want to share with the other members of PS Connect about who you are. But one of the first things you'll want to do is view your current contact information and make sure that it's accurate and up to date. And you'll do that using this link at the top of the page, View, Edit, Contact, and Demographic Information. Once you click on that link, it will take you to this page, the member information page, where you can view and edit that information. There are several things you can do on this page. You can edit your primary information. You can edit your contact information. You can edit your demographics. You can edit your organizational demographics. Now, a word of caution here, we recommend that only one person within your organization be authorized to edit your organizational demographics. This is the information about your agency overall. It should only be one person authorized to change or modify your agency information because the slightest error, the slightest typo in your agency's information can really hinder the way your agency receives information from APCO International. So we encourage you to have only one person within your agency authorized to change your organization's information. And of course, there's a link to take you back to PS Connect. Once you've entered that data on the membership information page, a lot of these other fields that appear in the lower half of your profile page will then be populated based on the information you put into that membership page. Um, for those areas that aren't populated automatically, you will see an edit link at the bottom. The edit link currently being indica indicated on the page is actually for the bio blur on the top half of the page. But those areas that are not automatically populated based on your membership information will have the add edit link as you'll see here under education and you'll see under job history. These allow you to put as little or as much information about yourself into your profile as you like. You also see on your profile page an area with the header of networks. The networks section of your profile page is actually the first part of PS Connect that initiates that connect and collaborate component of PS Connect. This is the first time where you, where you will be matched with your peers and colleagues in the industry. Based on the information that you put into your membership information and your profile, the networks area of your profile page will show a link to lists of people who have put the same or similar information in their profile. For example, you'll notice that Bill's area of public safety is listed as administration. If you click on the administration link, you'll get a list of other members of PS Connect who have also listed administration as their area of public safety. And you'll see other options there, city, number of employees overseen, 
municipality served, organization type. Each of those links will take you to a list of people who are members of PS Connect who have listed the same or similar information. Again, the first step to connecting with your peers and colleagues in the industry so that you can share information and network. The one last portion of your profile we'll want to discuss before we move away from your profile page is your preferences. Now your preferences can be accessed again multiple ways. Under my profile you can click the header at the top of the page and click my preferences in the drop down menu or you can click my preferences in the menu bar on the left hand side of the page. Once you do that, it will take you to this page, the My Preferences page. This is your contact preferences. This is the page where you will establish how you will interact with PS Connect and how PS Connect will interact with you. Several options that you'll have to choose here. Do you want the other members of PS Connect to be able to contact you? Yes or no. What email address would you like those contacts and notifications sent to? What types of notifications would you like to receive, contact requests, community invitations, so forth? And how much or how little of your particular member profile would you like other members of PS Connect to see? Your picture, your contacts, your company information, job title. You'll go through those lists and determine how much or how little of your profile you want other members to see. You'll scroll to the bottom of the page and click Save. I'll say this several times throughout the presentation today because it can't be reinforced too much. Anytime you change any of the parameters or settings within your membership or your profile of PS Connect, you have to scroll to the bottom of the page and click Save. If you don't click Save, any modifications you've made will not take effect. And that's your profile page. Once you've completed your preferences, your profile page for PS Connect is up and running and it will look similar to this with your information.